We are running. How many times have you wished you had done something but didn't, then wished you had? All of you will not achieve everything you set out to accomplish. But I can guarantee you, if you don't set goals and standards for yourself early on, you will have little chance to achieve even the most rudimentary status in life. For those of you that have very definitive aspirations, such as VP of Marketing, CFO, VP of Personnel, or CEO, practice within when you're without. This means Simulate the position you aspire to fill in various situations. I'm not suggesting you reinvent the wheel. I'm suggesting that you expand your horizons and use these already proven principles that have worked for many, myself included. Of these principles, two of the most difficult yet extremely effective to grasp are act as if you had no limits to your abilities and perhaps the most notable thing I'll say today you must act with great enthusiasm in everything you do. If you think back, you'll be able to think of situations where the person who exhibited the can-do, positive and enthusiastic attitude got the nod or opportunity. And fellow graduates, what you will come to realize early on in your career is all you need or want is the opportunity to excel. Just the opportunity and the rest will take its natural course. How many times have you wished you had done something but didn't, then wished you had? Virtually all of us have ex experienced this. If you merely reduce such occurrences, your career goals will be enhanced. Now I will relate a, an example that exhibits these concepts. An example that is real and understandable about myself and the Natural Resources Company I co-founded nine years ago, of which I am still chairman and CEO, the other two co-founders who were part of my dream team and how we reacted in our first five years of existence, which happened to be the most devastating period for energy companies in 50 years. Let me put the situation in perspective. After the second oil embargo in 1979, oil prices rose to $40 a barrel. By the early, in the early 80s, then plummeted to $8 a barrel by mid-1986. Our company was founded on Friday, July 13th, 1982 with $820, a phone, and a leased fax machine. None of us had any real oil or energy experience to speak of, least of all me. Now it's 1987 and I am being interviewed by a London-based newspaper and I was asked how in the most trying period the energy business has ever known, 1982 to 1987, called by some a five-year depression, the Great Western Resources Incorporated become the fastest growing natural resource company in the United States with assets of near $300 million. I thought for a microsecond and fired back with as much enthusiasm as I could. We always act as if we had no limits to our abilities and we decided not to participate in the energy depression. <laughs> I told him it didn't hurt us not knowing it was the worst of times because we had no experience, bad or good. But more importantly, we always simulated positive occurrences. We would have been surprised if we hadn't succeeded. The reporter looked stunned and went on to the next question. I tell you this story not to make light of all the tremendous hard work that it takes to become successful and fulfilled. It is not easy, but it is attainable if you have the real desire to get down and roll up your sleeves. It's like raising children. If you have the true grit to stick with it, especially during adversity, and are willing to go the extra mile in a positive and enthusiastic manner, you'll make it. I guarantee it. Another example of what I've illustrated this morning was to have a dream. I have dreamed many times of being here today of giving this commencement speech. I believe it's because I had something that needed to be shared with you. It's my way of saying thank you, CSUN for all that you've done. And also I hope someday I would have an opportunity to help lay out a framework for the future for graduating students. Everything I've discussed today really works. It's not theory or rhetoric. 
Notwithstanding, I've told you to have faith in some instances. It is not faith you will be rewarded in the afterlife. It is faith that will be rewarded in this life. And that's why you went to college in the first place. There is no doubt in my mind and there should be none in yours. We have shared experiences others cannot duplicate. Remember, we are one, we are the same. We are CSUN graduates of the School of Business Administration and Economics. It is a basis for which you can build your own recipe for success. It has given me great pride and satisfaction to be with you this morning, to be here this morning, as your first commencement speaker for the School of Business Administration and Economics. In closing, I'd like to read something that was written to me by my father long before I attended CSUN. The future is yours. Approach it with honesty and ambition, with a will to fight for the rights of mankind. Always balance the rights of mankind with the rights of society. Have faith in yourself and faith in people. For if you trust no one, you cannot trust yourself.